free space optical satellite communication is a key technology for our modern world. A major challenge is the influence of atmospheric turbulence on the laser beam, limiting the achievable data rate. Time and spatial variations of the refractive index cause the beam to move around. This movement results in tip-tilt aberrations which are the dominant air resource. The recorded video shows this effect. To ensure high data rate communication the received laser spot has to be kept within the receiver area, indicated by the red circle. The approach of tip-tilt compensation is to measure the movement of the laser spot and counteract this movement. The actuator is a fast steering mirror, which allows beam steering in two dimensions. A quad photodiode is used as position sensor for the laser spot. Furthermore, a beam splitter directs a major part of the received light to the communication receiver. Due to atmospheric turbulence the received light beam moves on the receiver as well as the QPD. Therefore, closed loop control is added, utilizing two independent, damped controllers. The light is stabilized now within the detector's area. The following time signals are recorded using the LEO object Cosmos 2315. Without active tip tilt compensation a RMS error in the range of 20 micro radians is observed. The video with the blue frame shows the corresponding camera recording, which highlights the movement of the laser spot on the receiver. If now tip tilt compensation is enabled, the remaining RMS error is reduced by up to a factor of 6, which is also clearly visible in the second video with orange frame. The laser spot stays well within the red circle, which represents a typical receiver area. In summary, tip tilt aberrations are the dominant error source in optical satellite communication. By utilization of an active tip tilt compensation system the resulting error is reduced by up to a factor of 6, successfully demonstrating the potential of this approach.